Matabo HPT, one of the most underrated power tool brands on the market. This drill is the DV36DC, Matabo HPT's latest flagship drill. Since it is a 36 volt tool, this is a four amp hour battery. I have not used this at all yet. Everything about this feels extremely high quality. Ergonomics are fantastic, just like every other Matabo HPT drill or driver I've ever used. You have 22 clutch settings. This selector feels great, as well as your speed selector. Let's get a good feel for this thing. We are in speed two and in drill mode. Fully charged four amp hour battery. This is a four inch Spax. That's absolutely no problem in speed two. What about a 10 inch timber lock? No issues. Does this thing have anti-kickback? Yes, it does. 3 8 by 6 inch specs. Let's stay in speed 2. Let's see if it can do it in speed 2. That was aggressive. I think that was no problem. The auxiliary handle is also very high quality. Everything about this drill just feels great. One and one eighth Diablo spade bit. Three eighths by six inch lag. We'll stay in speed too. <laughs> What about a half inch by six inch lag? Not in speed two, it can't. Oh, this is the five eighths by 10 inch lag. We're in speed one, drill mode. We are gonna be going into a pilot hole though. Right there. All right, I don't know if we lost audio. Drill got a little squirrely. All right, this is gonna be my last try before I have to go to work. We have a fully charged four amp hour battery now. Speed one, we're in drill mode. Testing for the peak torque. Here we go. Fifty six point five. That is half a foot pound behind the Bosch 1330C, meaning this is the second strongest drill I have ever tested. Sorry, Milwaukee, but now you have DeWalt 1007, Tabo HPT, DV36DC, and Bosch 1330C, all stronger than you.